Hello and welcome to Buffalo Brotherhood uh, Plays Games, I guess. This is Ryan. Uh, starting a new game today. It's Train Simulator 2017. To give you some context here, I love simulator games. Big fan of the flight sim stuff. Uh, terrible pilot. Um, so I don't really record much of that stuff, but I do enjoy doing it and learning how to do it. The running joke, though, is I'm going to eventually quit my job and just go learn to drive trains. So I thought, why not start that right now um available on steam for i think like 17 bucks right now because on sale uh it seems to be an update it says 2017 in the title i don't know i probably should have done my homework on it but uh i saw it and i thought it'd be fun the rim world videos are going to be wrapping up so i thought I needed to get one more thing out there so i i picked it up now it comes with an academy sort of teach you what you're doing i've gone through all the control scenarios uh what you see here uh i've done a couple of the drivings and then what I kind of decided was like, I just need to pick a train and try to do all the ones that deal with that train. That might, you know, get me to help me figure out what's going on. So uh, I've done a few of these um, driving ones, but not much. So we're going to try a, I believe this is like an electric. Yeah, right here. I want to try to do this one here too. But it says it's got three stars of, of difficulty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. So far, um, I, like I said, I haven't played very long. Just did a, did a bit. Excuse me. <coughs> that was loud. I apologize. Just a little bit of the scenario. I tried one scenario and was ahead on time and was doing a fabulous job. Only got caught speeding one time. Uh, this is definitely a game that you want to be doing something else while you're doing it. Oh, that seems loud. Let's see, can I turn it? I thought I turned the sound down. We're going to let it roll for now and see what happens. So, welcome back to the cab of the SD70 Mac diesel locomotive. In this lesson, we're going to learn about advanced braking systems. Complete each action after closing these messages. Let's see, can I? Okay, the locomotive is equipped with three different braking brake systems depending on the requirement. Independent, auto, and dynamic. Good. Tell us what they mean. So this is the big knob on the side. I knew that from the earlier one. The independent brake control systems, only the locomotive itself. This shoe's been running locomotive only. Okay, the auto brake control systems are along the entire train. Long trains mean the brake takes a long time to react, so planning ahead is crucial to slow down in time to stop. Okay. Dynamic braking works by reversing the polarity of the motors, causing them to slow down. Similar to independent braking, the dynamic brakes only have an effect on locomotives on, in the train. In the train? On the train. Locomotives. Only, so it, it's only going to happen here, like the big knob. Okay. All right. So here we go. We've got a digital readout on this bad dude. Multi-function display. The MFD, multi-function display, on the right side, in, in on the right side displays information about the air brakes, which are controlled by using the auto brake handle. As the auto brake increases the equalizing reservoir, ER, right here, it says 90. I guess it's here too. Drops from 90 PSI to 1. Once the ER is set, the brake pipes, or BP, slowly decrease to match the ER. Okay. Now, I think there's something here about when one of them goes to zero, you just don't have any brakes anymore, right? Applying auto brakes also increases the brake cylinder, the BC, which is right here. It goes up to a maximum of 65 PSI. This is the actual braking force, and it is only affected by the BP. And is actual braking force, and is only affected by BP. So that's this one, right? Braking cylinder is the actual braking force, and it's only um, controlled by this. If the BP reaches zero, there will no, long, no longer be any pressure to apply the brakes. So this is the important one. This cannot be at Z, at zero. So this is the reservoir, this is the braking pressure. Okay, is that what it said, braking pressure? I don't remember. But that's what I'm saying, so that I remember what it means. To recharge the BP, the auto brakes must be set back to the release position. Okay, give them time to rebuild pressure, I got that. 
the longer the train, the longer the brakes take to apply and recharge. Oh, there's a long train there. Brakes cannot be gradually released and recharged. Any usage will discharge BP, which will not start to recharge again until the handle is set back to the release position. Hmm. Right now it's on me. Okay. Okay, brake difficulty settings. In train simulator, the auto brakes is set to medium difficulty. Continue the lesson at this level to get used to it. Once comfortable, try this lesson again at a different difficulty levels to find one that is most comfortable. Control plus shift plus one will increase the braking difficulty. Control plus shift plus two will decrease it. Close this message to begin stopping and to begin stopping this train, okay? So we just need to stop the train. Okay, to the right, the ED is dropping from 90 PSI, the BP will slowly decrease to match it. The BC will then increase to provide actual braking power. Remember, the brake, once the brakes are applied, changing them even slightly will completely discharge the pressure. Okay. We're set at 65. As indicated on the speedometer in the middle of the, the MFD, that must be this thing here. The train is now slowing down. However, due to the length and the weight, it will not stop quickly, even from a low speed. Understanding how long it takes to stop is crucial skill for an engineer. So this is going to go all the way to zero, isn't it? Okay. Let's scroll down. Do this in chunks, maybe? Now it looks like... Am I braking, I guess, is the question. I'm at 21 miles an hour. I guess I should just look here. Do I need to let this go all the way down to six? So I'm engaging the reverser here. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't think this works right. Or I don't think I'm... I, I think it works right. I think I don't... Yeah, whatever I did there was much better... than the air brakes, I think. Eleven miles an hour. We're still trying to stop. Now that stopped at 21, so... It's not at zero. So I'm going to let this go all the way down to 21. Let's see what happens. I think we're going to get stopped, actually. Nine miles an hour. I didn't get it done before I 
manager. I, oh, I overshot. That seems really loud. Can I just turn down here? There we go. Maybe that's a little better. Man, that was loud. Should have done that before. Seven miles an hour, six miles an hour. This is still not at zero, and that's what I said. When that gets to zero, I, I'm not stopping anymore. But they're equalized at 29. <coughs> Excuse me. Still stopping. Turn up, turn up. It's like the parking brake. I'm sure that I'm going slow enough that I can put that in. So if I change this, I see the, yeah. There we go, we stopped. So. Congratulations, okay. All right. I almost kind of want to do it again because I think we can do better. But uh, we'll look for some more stuff. Mm hmm. We'll look for some more stuff. We'll do one more here. Um, again, I kind of want to stay with the same train because I feel like that's... I want to get used to using that train. So is there another one with this guy? SD. Let's try a different scenario. Let's try objectives. SD. SDA. Uh, there we go. Coupling and uncoupling. Uh, you guys like trains? Big fan of trains? I don't really know much about them, to be honest. I just thought it'd be fun. And like I said, it was a running joke that I was going to quit my job and learn to drive a train. Oh, okay, welcome back to the cab. Let's look around. It does look familiar, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good. Here's the button we didn't play with before. Horn. Okay, we've got to read the buttons first, I guess. Welcome back to the cab. Oh, no, what happened? Okay, there it goes. Oh, I got a graphical glitch. Oh no. Well, let's just keep going and see what happens. Welcome back. After each, uh, there we go. So the freight train uh, is a group of cars hauled by one or more locomotives transporting all types of cargo between their destination. Make up the, the makeup of the train depends on the cargo required to be shipped, such as coupling and uncoupling cars is a very common task. On the track ahead is rake, a rake of hoppers a rake of hoppers hmm? let's couple the locomotive to them set the reverser, release the brake and apply the throttle do not exceed 3 miles an hour or you may cause damage ok, let's uh ok, getting close to the hoppers start applying brakes and then gently bump into them, coupling occurs automatically close this message press the 6 key Okay, so we want to turn off the brake, set the reverser, increase it just a little bit. Hear them spooling up. Slowly, slowly, just rolling forward. Just 
Rolling forward. I don't have any idea how close we are to this train. Oh, perfect. Just got a little fast there at first. Alright. To uncouple while still in the coupling camper camera, simply click the coupler shank between the vehicles and the locomotive will be detached. Is this what it means? Or do I have a different button? Here? There we go. Ah, uh, close. Alright, there we go. That wasn't so hard. So the MD-70 Mac. What else we got? What else we got? Refueling. Well, that sounds fun. Let's try that. Got to get got to get some of that diesel in it. Uh, trains don't get enough love though. Zombie apocalypse happens. I'm getting in a train. Go from town to town. They're not going to get. They can run on anything. Those big diesel engines. But the, the, the railroad isn't going to get tore up, except by other trains. Maybe that's a bad idea. Never mind. I'm out. Okay, we're back. Here we go. The locomotive runs on diesel fuel, and almost 5,000 gallon tank is enough for a family car to drive around the world 18 times. For heavy freight trains, though, it likely only lasts a single day. Wow, I had no idea it was that much gas. Zombie apocalypse vehicle out. Okay, to refuel, the locomotive must be stopped next to an available fuel pump. As you can see, one is already in place. Yep, here we are. To begin, either hover the mouse over the fuel pump and click the left button, or open the action menu and select fuel. Where's the action menu? Load and unload. Monitor the fuel on the driver's HUD. Alright, we're refueling. Should we jump in the cab and look at the HUD? Or do they mean this? Probably mean that, because I don't see anything moving here. gas in it. We left clicked. Alright, now we know. Should we replay it? Try it again? Right. These things are going super fast. Anything else? No, no, no. You guys want to see this, I'm sure. The big, the old steam engine. Hmm. Later. You gotta let me know if you want to see it. Okay, safety system. Safety is important. Let's do it. Probably gonna be a lot of reading on this one. Move the microphone, sit back low in the chair. Trying to be the engineer I've always wanted to be. Okay, move the microphone, sit back up in the chair. Yep. Oh, oh we're already rolling. Okay. Hopefully, safety-wise, we're, we're in good shape. Welcome back to the cab of the Mac diesel locomotive. In this session, we will learn about the alerter driver vigilance system driving a train is an important job moving a train with no driver is dangerous a moving train with no driver is dangerous to ensure driver trains are still in safe hands, a system regularly checks that you're still at still at the controls wow that's interesting didn't know this on a train this is called an alerter if there is no activity on the controls for the train for 60 seconds, the alerter will sound an alarm. You must respond in order to maintain control. If you don't, the train's brakes will autom automatically be applied. You need to turn the alerter system on. Control Shift D. Nicely done. The alerter system is now activated. Is there an easier button on the console for that? The train is already moving in 60 seconds. The alerter was alarm will sound. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. 45 seconds. Oh, thank you. 
Is it just one of these buttons? Just enjoying the countryside. 30 seconds. Just moving along. Seconds. Got it. Wonder which one of these hands is this key. Anytime. Now. Yep. This is the alerter. You're checking your stealthy controls. Respond by pressing Q on the keyboard or A on the controller. Can I just push the button? Yeah. Here we go. Who knew? What a great, so like that movie where the train goes wild, takes off, Chris Pine and Denzel Washington have to go save it. Is that not something that would have actually happened when the, unless the alerter system was off? I feel like I need to rewatch that video now. See if the alerter system was turned off for some reason. Anything else for my Mac? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, what else? What else? Signaling. Looking for the Mac. Diesel single head signals. Let's do it. Last one. And then we'll have to we'll have to do a scenario next time. I don't I don't I haven't even really looked at the, the rest of it. I tried one scenario, I did okay, I just forgot didn't get stopped. I just I was so concerned about keeping the speed I didn't realize the orange line meant I had to stop in it. The alerter device is disabled. Maybe we should turn it on. Should we turn it on? I don't think we're in here long enough for that. Okay. Let's talk about it. Three lights. The red light's on. Which is different in a car, right? The red light's at the top. The green light's at the bottom. Anyway. Uh, when multiple trains operate on a railway line, they must have separate... They must be separated to prevent collision. The line is divided into sections called blocks. And only one train is permitted in each block. Entry into the block is controlled by a signal. These signals are, are able to display three colors to the engineer. Watch the train as the train head pulls forward and how the signal changes as a result. Okay, it's green. Now it's red. It's saying that no other train can go, right? Yellow means the second block ahead is occupied. All right. So we can't see though here which which one's which, right? It just shows that there's three colors. So now it should be yellow. Yellow. There's a train, two car two things ahead. Now it's red because we're in there. This means the third block ahead is occupied. Okay, so one, two, three. Up here, all right. all right. I don't know what to do with that information. Thank you, train simulator. Okay, I feel like there wasn't much of a payoff. It was only two minutes long. Let's check and see if there's anything else to do in my diesel. Right here, multi-head three signals. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, I'm gonna forget all this stuff anyway, so. I just wanna Honk the horn. Can we just honk the horn? I'm sure. Here it goes. Loading up. Okay. Alert or disable. Break difficulty. The easiest. It's fine for now. We'll figure this stuff out later. Welcome back to the cab of the Mac. Multi head signals. Complete any action after closings. Splitting a single track into section to separate trains is easy. Things get complicated when there are multiple tracks and switchings between them. Signals now need to display more information to the engineer as the situation ahead of them. Yeah, because there's I see yeah, the the different the tracks switching back and forth. Ahead the switch allows the train to cross to a parallel track. The signal in the front are two heads, upper and lower. The upper head relates to the track we're on. The lower head re 
relates to the second route that we could take beyond the signal. Okay, so this one, the upper, is the track we're on. This one would be the one over here. Now there's a train over there, so that should be red. It is, but there's no train here, so I don't know why it's red. Watch as the signal changes as the locomotive ahead progresses down the track. Can tell this one or this one. So that'll turn red, right? I, I can't watch because I can't see anything. Okay, yellow. So will that turn green now, or I can't see? It. Should I be watching here? red. The lower head indicates it is clear for our locomotive to diverge to the switch to the parallel track. The upper indicates it is not safe to proceed along the current track. Okay, that's great. I don't, I don't I'm not gonna need a little more experience before I quit my day job. <clears throat> Okay, well, let's take a look at the rest of the game real quick, just because just, just we've got a few extra minutes here before we get cut off. Um, and I haven't, I haven't done that yet, so I've been really intrigued by this build, but I want to wait here. So let's look at drive. This is what I did before. This here. Like I said, I was doing fabulous, and then, it, then I just overshot my track, but uh, there's that. So this is the career. These rail fan things, which are... I guess they're kind of neat. I don't know. It's like you just jump in and you're just standing beside the railroad and you get to watch trains go by. Um, obviously, there's a, a large group of people who are, really like trains that they probably like that. I was really confused because I couldn't do anything. Free roam. My question is, can I create my own route? Can I do that? Free roam? It's not letting me select anything. Standard, select a loco to choose a scenario and start. Scenario name, there is none. I don't know what to do here. Quick drive, sure. Can we get our, can we get our Mac? Where's my Mac? These are all I don't know what these are. Custom. Create create new. Create new what? Where's my Mac? Is that it? No, that's not it. Is that it? Nope. What is this? Random. Random. Oh, that's kind of cool. Just take a track. From Long Reach to South Ambry. I want to. I want to make my own. From from the U.S. From New York to L.A. How long would that take? Not an option. Long Branch. I don't know. Jersey Coast. These are all the ones near that. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I guess. Return to the game, and there we go. But I don't want to do that one. I, 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 this came with extra stuff. Where's my extra stuff? Anyway, what if we just hit start? Free roam, start. I guess we just look at the title screen. This is great. Well. Hopefully there's more to this game than what I, we just saw. I'm going to fiddle around with it a bit more and come back with hopefully a route. And we'll, we'll see if we can't take our, our, our skills and put them into a real scenario. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like. Come back tomorrow and, and see some more Train Simulator 2017. Talk to you later. Goodbye.